y'all welcome back to the channel uh this is bass boxing outdoors and today got in a little shop car order and uh anyways i thought i would uh dive in and uh share with what we got in here but anyways uh I was just looking at my calendar and it kind of seems like I forgot to do the drawing for the giveaway winner. So anyways, what I'm going to do is go ahead and run it till this Sunday, which will be the 25th. Mm. It'll be the 26th. But the good news is that doing that gives us a little bit more of a chance to add some more baits to it which reminds me i do have to add two more baits to the pile so that's four more baits total i've already added two so i'm going to show you all the other two that i'm going to add to the pile first up is going to be some biospawn exo sticks uh these are in black and blue i believe no these are in june bugs so you'll get a whole pack of uh june bug x06 and bio spawn kind of crazy because i think when they first come out this is how they used to do them they used to put them in a bag and now they put them in a clamshell which i don't know why i think putting them in a bag would be just fine but anyway, so that's uh, one of the items. And the next item is going to be the 10,000 fish cycle bait. This one is uh, dark June bug gold. Uh, it's got a four-aught hook on it and weighs three-eighths of an ounce. So pretty cool little bait does catch fish it's a little bit different than a spinner bait it kind of swims different but anyways i thought that would be kind of cool so anyways there's y'all's next two baits to add to that so whoever gets this little package is going to get a good deal because there's a lot of baits in there like i said now we're going to go ahead and run it till sunday uh so who knows you might get a couple more subscribers and add a couple more baits to it so anyways thank y'all for that and like i said if you ain't seen that video it's uh like two or three videos back uh it's called the big giveaway video uh so be sure to get in on that and uh anyways uh let's dive into this and see what we got. And for those of y'all that don't know what Shop Corals is, it is a online store where you can buy a tackle. They also do a mystery tackle box, which is what I do. The monthly mystery tackle box. Uh, so... I got a pretty cool little store going on there. I like it. You can become a member for, I think, 40 bucks a month or something like that. I know that's how much it costs me. And you get 10 to 30% off all baits. And they're always doing some kind of deals and stuff. So, if you like to buy a lot of tackle, it's really worth the money. So, anyways, let's get into this because I done forgot what I got. All right, so first up, we got us a fanny pack. This is a Guggen Squad fanny pack. And they were giving this away on Father's Day if you bought $30 or more. So, anyways, that's pretty cool. My wife will probably like it. She, she likes it that stuff whenever she like goes to the casino she can put her id and stuff in there so that's pretty cool get all the baits out here's my little list of stuff that i bought they 
they even sent me a Dibbles. Uh, but anyways, I had some uh, new stuff in here that's pretty cool that people ain't been talking about yet, which I was kind of surprised. But uh, I'm going to save those for last. So first up, we got some Guggen Blazing Worms. And these are six inches long. And I bought the plum color. And uh, I've been really impressed with them. They got some pretty good action on them. I've already bought some. Uh, I forgot. Oh yeah, I bought the watermelon or the green pumpkin purple. But anyways, you can see it's their version on a speed worm. But that little tail right there, man, that thing's got all kinds of action. It's got all kinds of little segments in it so it catches a lot of water and uh moves through the water pretty well and uh you know it stays together really well so you know you're not catching one fish and done unless you know you just get a big one and then it shakes the whole worm off or whatever but usually you can just bite the head off and go on to the, you know, reusing it. But anyways, that is that. And, uh, you get eight of them in a pack. Next up is some, uh, Guggen Trench Hogs. These are the Juniors. And this is in baby blue. This is a, uh, color I don't have. I do love the trench hog. I like it better than I do the bandito bug. My favorite color so far has been the green pumpkin purple. And natural. And also Okeechobee crawl. That's worked pretty good. But anyways. Baby blue seems to be a really hot topic lately. A lot of people talk about it. Especially people that fish the Guggen baits. Uh... But anyways, you can see, I mean, there's just that little blue swirl mixed in with it. And, uh, looks really good. If you ain't, uh, fished the trench hog, I would definitely recommend it. They do make a big one. Uh, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. I just feel like you get more bites with the littler one. And, uh. I have a little bit more success off of that. And like I said, it's a little over four and a half inches long. So you get nine in a pack. And I think if you get the big one, you get seven in a pack. Next up, we have some uh, Power Bait, Berkeley Power Bait Agent E. This is the three inch half ounce and this is the HD bluegill. And uh, these baits right here are really interesting because you would think that you would fish them like a swim jig, which you can. You know, you can throw it out there and just reel it in if you want to. But that's not how it was designed to be fished. It's actually designed to be fished like a jig. You throw it and you bounce it up and down off the bottom and that seems to work really well. So if you have been fishing these and you haven't had very much luck on them, you might want to try just throwing it out there letting it fall to the bottom and just kind of pop it up like you do a jig because that's how it was designed to be fished and it's actually got a little rattle built into it you probably can't hear it and then you got this little protector little fiber guard thing 
But anyway, look at that color. That looks like a real bluegill. I mean, that thing looks really good. And uh, I've gotten a few of these so far, but I've just now been able to get my hands on the actual like HD colors. Uh, shop Carl's got them in, and so I went ahead and picked up a few. And uh, so the next one is going to be uh, the Agent E. This one is a uh, brown crawl. Sorry, it's taking me a minute. I'm having to remove the staples out of them. I don't know why they felt the need to staple it. But... Okay. Ow! That's why I freaking hate staples. Freaking get blood all over me. Why not? And then anyways, so as you can see, I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's actually little lines where the shell's at. It's supposed to imitate a little crawfish but uh I'm trying to see if y'all can see that but. anyways so yeah that's supposed to imitate a little crawl this is like one of their number one sellers so kind of curious about it and uh yeah anyway shop corals has them on there you can get quite a few colors. Uh, I do know they were selling pretty fast whenever I ordered them, so they might not even be on there no more. But I will give a shout out to Shop Carl for finally getting some Berkeley stuff on their website. Next up is another one of my favorites. I've really become to like this bait this year. In fact, the only few fish that I've actually caught this year have come off this bait. And it's the Z-Man Hercules. And this one is in Shiner. Uh, and it's five inches, weighs five eighths of an ounce. And this bait right here is just a really good bait. I really like it. It's done wonders for me. It's got that little boot tail on there. I mean, it swims through the water really good. It's got this big old hook on here. And of course, it's made out of a last tech. So unless some toothy critter just bites the tail off, it's gonna last you a while. Uh, really like the color of this one. This one's the shiner and I bought the Gold Rush the last time, and then I bought the the Bad Shed, so this one just got a little bit of green tint to the top of it, and so yeah, if you're looking for a swim bait that don't cost a whole lot and probably will last you a little while, give this one a shot. I really like it. Uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Like I said, I ain't caught a whole lot of fish this year, but the fish that I have caught have come on this right here. Next up, this is the Savage Gear. Uh, Savage Gear. What do they call this? The Smash Tail Minnow 100. And once again, you got to get staples out of it. Wish they quit putting staples and everything. But anyways, I bought a big one of these in a different color, and I didn't realize how big it was. That thing was pretty big; it was almost six inches. So I bought a small one, and this looks about more like what I'll fish. This one's three and three-fourths inches long and weighs half an ounce. And the color is bluegill. And so 
yeah, take a look at that little dude. It's basically your whopper plopper. Except right here it has like a little weight. So it makes sure that it spins like it's supposed to. Catches water. You don't have to worry about it accidentally getting stuck up here or something. And then it's got some kind of sh heat shrink tube around this. So anyways, all in all, a really good looking bait. Uh... I like it. It is uh, about the same price as the Whopper Plopper. I think it's thirteen ninety nine. But all in all, I like it and I think it looks good. And you can't go wrong with Savage Gear. And like I said, it's got that little weight there. And uh it helps keep it balanced in the water. So I do like that. See if I can get it back in there. Maybe. Anyway, I'll fix it later, but yeah. Pretty cool looking bait. Alright, so next up is a uh, 10,000 fish headhunter. And I'm really surprised that nobody's even talked about this because the headhunter is a really good bait. This is 4 and 3 inches long. It weighs 1 ounce. And anyways, they've come out with 4 new colors, I believe. And I ended up grabbing 2 of them. This color right here is called Tilly. And so check that little color out. You got that red pinkish tail with a little bit of pink down its side. And then on the inside you got that big old hook that's going to shoot out if they hook them. And, uh, but yeah, I thought that was really cool. I like that color. And like I said, I'm really surprised that nobody's been talking about them. And you can fish this pretty much the same way you do the Berkeley Agent E. Or you can swim it right through the freaking water and it swims real, really, really good. I have a lot of these and I really like them. And they come in two different sizes. I think the other one is two and a half inches long, I think. And, uh, but yeah. They got some really cool colors. I want to check them out. Uh, I know Mega Bass just come out with theirs that kind of looks like this. And uh, I'm not even going to go into discussion about that because I've already been into an argument about it. But anyways, uh, here's the next one. And this one right here is called Salt and Pepper. This one right here is really cool. I like this one. So this one right here really looks more like a real shed. It's got a lot of flashy glitter in it. And it's black on the top. And then you got a little bit of like translucent to it. And, uh, yeah. I mean, really nice. The other color they have, they have a color that's called uh, Desert Storm, I think. And then they have a Perch colored and they look really nice so if you're interested go check them out on shop carl's uh but yeah I, I was really shocked to come to find out that nobody's even said anything about them i was like man so i decided i would pick up some and show y'all what they look like in fact i'm gonna go back and pick up the other two colors probably in the next week or two so anyways, you got that one in the salt and pepper, 
and then you got that one and it's called Tilly as in T-I-L-L-Y but anyways y'all that is today's video I hope y'all enjoyed and like I said we'll do that giveaway this Sunday that way you know I've already missed the day that I was gonna do it so to just give it a little bit more time to maybe add another bait or two to it uh, but anyways uh let me know what y'all thought about this uh these new baits and stuff and anyways i will see y'all on the next one and i really appreciate everyone that watches and be sure to hit that thumbs up if you don't mind and i will see y'all on the next one